This video is brought to you with Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes internet security easily attainable and super simple. It encrypts all traffic to and from your devices, meaning the IP address is actually kept secret. On top of that, it also blocks ads, malware, phishing, and all the rest of it. All the nasties that you really don't want. I'm just gonna highlight a few more of the features, but there's gonna be an offer as well, so do stay tuned if this sounds right up your street. Now, many of you will know I'm not a tech guy, but I actually find it really, really easy to use. And one of the first benefits I've actually found, especially during the lockdown period, I'll put that on screen now, is that if a program is locked in your country, Country, you can actually use a Surfshark to get access to that programming on Netflix, for example. Really, really cool. And especially at the moment, we're spending more time streaming. That's actually been really, really helpful. Why is it important to be secure online then? What many people don't realize is we actually spend up to six to eight hours a day online. So that's a hell of a lot of personal information that we are banding around willy-nilly on the internet. It's really important that we actually try and keep that as secure as possible for obvious reasons. You exchange all sorts over the internet, a lot of which you don't even know about. This can be particularly pertinent when you're traveling when you're connecting to random Wi-Fi spots all over the place data thieves can actually hack in and steal your personal data something else that you may not appreciate from a VPN service provider can actually speed up traffic so ads use data you can actually block those ads and therefore speed up your browsing and something else that many of you won't know but the online businesses out there are actually sussing you out to see how affluent you are it will see where you're tuning in from it'll see what device you're using and all the rest of it it will be using personal data to see how much it can charge you and that applies to kind of uh, flight websites and that can apply to loads of different websites you never even thought did this to you. It's sneaky, but it's true. Using a VPN service provider actually means that those companies can't tell anything about you at all, so they can't try and rip you off. So if all this sounds like it's up your street, use the link below to get up to 83% off for signing up today. Get in the mix, that is a limited time offer, so do get involved and let me know how you get on with it and whether or not you save money and what programs you're accessing and all the rest of it, because it's really, really cool. It's a really cool, clever piece of kit and it made me wonder why I didn't do it earlier. Really, really good offer there. Give it a go, trial it, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Anyway, for now, let's get on with the video. And welcome back to TGTV. More specifically, today we are at Vines BMW in Redhill. I am back. The last time I was here, I think I was collecting my i3s. Might be my i3s. But I'm here at Vines Redhill. They've also got a mini dealership over there, which I've uh, frequented also in the past and picked up various goods. However, today I'm not here to pick up a car. I'm here to drop my BMW M3 LE500 E93 V8 convertible car. That makes sense. I'm here to drop my newly acquired old but new M3. Many of you have seen those videos on the channel now and it's, uh, understand what that car is and what it means to me and blah, blah, blah. Many of you will know the full story behind that car already, but if you don't know about it, please do check a number of videos back because I go into all about that car. Very special car to me and I've taken it here to Vines to get some TLC. It popped up on the dash the other day that it needs a service. I checked the oil, it looked a little bit dirty, so I thought, you know, do you know what? Let's just take it down here and get the whole book thrown at it and make sure everything is absolutely perfect. Get another dealer stamp in the book and also get an MOT. So it's due an MOT as well. I don't think the service was technically due for another three or four months, but I don't care. I want to get it done early and I want to make sure the car is absolutely great and perfect because this is a long-term keeper. There's no point trying to cut corners with these things. So it's currently in the workshop. I've already dropped it off and I'm just waiting for it to come out. And I'm also waiting to see what advisories this is gonna get and what the deal is with the car, what needed doing, and how much the bill's gonna be. So, join me in a second when the car comes out and we will get going. Also, I've just been into the dealership and had a very interesting conversation about potentially ordering something. Uh, why do I come near car dealerships? Car dealerships being open again, is a very, very bad idea for me. It gets very, very expensive. I've just been talking to Mark here, one of the sales guys, about ordering something. I've been sat in the hot seat doing some specs. So, there may well be some news on that. So without further ado then, we're gonna have a look at the M3 and let's get this video going. So obviously they've got social distancing guidelines in place inside. So I'm not gonna run around with my camera in there risking everyone's health and uh, breathing and uh, salivating near people. 
They do have some lovely bits in there. They've got an X3 competition in there. They've got an X3M competition and some other various bits. However, I'm looking through the used bits and bobs outside and there's a car that has caught my eye. Ladies and all gentlemen. Now this looks like Yasmarina Blue, probably on the camera because the camera's seen better days. But I think this is, what colour is it? It's 53 grand. It's an M4 convertible competition. But it is... What is that actually called, that colour? Mexico Blue, that's cash. Oh, you said it was Mexico Blue, didn't you? Yeah, so that is Mexico Blue, a really, really rare colour. I think BTS Porsches are actually in Mexico Blue as well. That is cash. And it's obviously the cab as well, which as you all know, I'm a huge fan of. I love cabs when they're metal folding. I don't like them when they're soft tops so much. But that is hell. That would have been about 70 grand new. That's 52K. That's a lot of car for the cash. Carbon inside, lovely stuff. And this is kind of the modern iteration of my V8 that's actually inside the service bit over there. I think, can we see it through the gap there? Maybe I'll poke through. I might poke my camera through. Actually, no, I'll get told off for that. I'm not going to do that. Mahmood has joined me in the AMG GT. Yeah. He's joined me in a separate car, everyone, so please don't tell us off. Yeah. Although, arguably, we live together. Same. We live in the same household. Unfortunately. How's that going for you? So far, so good. Fun to be away from you as soon as possible. Thanks for letting me uh, take up residence in your wardrobe. <laughs> it's, all I can, uh, it's all I can afford at the moment. Have we got any cool minis? So obviously there's a mini dealership here as well with one stuck on the wall, as you do. I've got some mini news coming by the way, everyone. I've got some Cooper S's. That's very, very nice there, very nice. I like minis, Mahmood. Did you know that? Cash. Minis are cash, we're learning. Oh, that is rich. That's rich. British Racing Green, John Cooper Works. Doesn't get much more rich than that. It's an auto, ladies and gentlemen. But that, that is here in stock. It's 20K. Someone come and buy this. It's very nice, very nice indeed. We like that. Do you like that? Yeah. It's a nice t-shirt you've got on there. Thanks, mate. Inspired Things must be going well at yeah. TGTV. Inspired by you, mate. Mmm. We don't mess around over here. Righto. Carry on. Let's carry on. Lots of minis. Lots of minis. If you want a mini, come down here and get one. Here she is then. Mahmood's been a bit of a troll bringing an AMG GT to a BMW dealership. But she's here. She's running very nicely. Thanks for all the questions on the car anyway. Those wondering how long-term ownership is going with this car. It's phenomenal. I can't fault it at all. I actually cannot fault this car at all. It's superb. Where's he going? I'm just going to ask him for his opinion on the MG GT. Where's Mahmood? It's like, where's Wally? Oh, there. He's up there. What are you doing up there? Why are you there? I was going to ask you for your ownership experience on the, on the uh, AMG GT. It's now currently with Mahmood for the time being. Perfect daily. Perfect daily. There we go. You've heard it from the man himself. Sun out, roof down. Sun out, roof down. Birds or? No comment, professional. It's a professional outfit here. We don't, we can't rope him in that easily. Very well trained. But yeah, it's phenomenal. Great, great car. And if you're on the fence about getting one of these, what, so, are you still talking? What's going on? Chaos! That is hell. That is gonna be our new team car, by the way. That's next. I'm gonna scour eBay for one of them right now. Soon come. Meanwhile then, whilst I've been shouting at three wheelers, they actually brought the car around uh, and I missed it. I didn't film it being brought around, but it's here. It looks exactly the same, to be honest with you. And I've just seen in my emails, they've emailed me a video of advisories they have found. How is it, Mimu? Are you happy? Yeah, love it, mate. Congrats, okay, so we've had some advisories on the tyres. It's had a service. So then payment admin done. I've now got a valid MOT test certificate, which is all very exciting. And it passed which I wasn't too uh, worried about. Uh, there was obviously an advisory on the tire, so I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna get some Falcons on the car. Uh, Mahmood, you've got Falcons on your car, do yeah, you not? Yeah. On your M4? Oh, bro, love, love the grip, man. Would you recommend that? You love the grip? Yeah. Good. Some sliding action. Weddy, weddy, grippy. Yeah. Um, so, we've got a valid MOT, brilliant. And also, we've had a service done. So in there, we've got some filters, some engine oil, we've got another filter, and we've got a glass clean as well. Glass cleaner is £2.65. Fantastic. So we've got that. Obviously, the paintwork there, you're all having a go at me. I'm going to get this machine polished, so please don't tell me off. But the total came to, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, 500 quid. 500 quid for its 24,000 mile, uh, eight year, seven year service. I don't know if that's good or bad. And that's been paid for there. Look, I didn't finance it, I paid on a card. Brilliant stuff. And you'll wonder why this is all being blocked out because my, uh, well, an address is on there. My address isn't actually on there anyway, but I thought I'd block that out because I don't want uh, you swines turning up to, 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 my, uh, to, to my accountant's address. Anywho, there we go. Paperwork done. And such are the times that we live in. It is now actually all sanitised. The key has been sanitised. And then you come in here as well. 
And look at this. It's all been sanitized. Fantastic stuff. Lovely, great service here. Service with a smile. And I was actually in and out within a couple of hours. Don't ask them to do it in two hours when you turn up because it's all dependent on their workshop availability. They did get it through in and out really, really quickly. And they kept me posted throughout, which was lovely. That's my mask. If you want a mask, by the way, the link's below. It's time then to fire up. Let's get her going. Let's have a little listen. I will take the plastic off. Does feel a little bit smoother. I don't know whether or not that's a placebo. Lovely stuff. In the excitement then, I forgot to add an outro. I wasn't gonna say anything exciting anyway. I was just gonna say the car feels a lot nicer and blah, blah, blah. Stay tuned though, because I've got a lot of work that's been done to the car. I'm getting a machine polished and some other bits and bobs and some carbon modifications and an exhaust mod. So that's all to come on the channel. Apologies for the mess around in schedule. Anyway, make sure you go and check out the sponsor below. That's the whole reason I can do these things. So make sure you hit the link below. Go and check it out. Start your free trial with the code TGE and hit the link. Nice one, guys. Cheers, see you later.